Hello, this is Teacher Marichu at your service and welcome to our learning activity for Madbox Grade 8, Quarter 1, Week 4A. Every learning activity we're going to have in this video is equivalent to one learning competency. In this case, the learning competency that we're going to learn is on how to perform operations on rational algebraic expressions. Now let's get started. For the generalizations, it is important to note that in dealing with rational algebraic expressions, we have to know whether a certain rational algeb algebraic expressions are similar or dissimilar. When you say similar, they have the same denominator. When two algebraic expressions have different denominator, then we're going to have the LCD or what they call the least common denominator. But that is in learning activity B. So let's get started here. The skills that you're going to learn in this activity sheet A is a prerequisite skill in proceeding to learning activity sheet B for this week, week number four. Now I have here example one. I, um, I will just browse this. Just pause this video if you wish just to go over it. We have five examples. After example number five, we're going to proceed with the exercises. And in the exercises, we have five numbers to solve. In the exercises, I will discuss each solution to the five numbers. So you have a step-by-step -step process here. So, okay, we're almost there. I'm trying to get there. So let me focus here for example 5, then after that. Okay, so exercises 1. Okay, let me. Directions. Perform the indicated operation and express your answer in simplest form. Show the step-by-step -step process in answering. Okay, you may write your answer in your activity notebook or answer sheet. So let's get started with number 1. We have here 2p all over 2p plus 3 plus 3 all over 2p plus 3. So we have a similar rational algebraic expressions. So we have 2. I'll just copy this and then after that, we have to combine 2p plus p all over the common denominator 2p plus 3 and we know for a fact that the numerator and denominator are the same so the answer is 1. Moving on to exercises number 2 we have here 5x minus 3 all over 4x minus 4 minus 2x all over 4x minus 4 for the solution okay we have here First, we have to transform them or to rewrite them in such a way that they are together. So, copy the common or the similar denominator for x minus 4. Then, we have to copy 5x minus 3, then minus 2x. And, we have to collect or combine like terms 5x minus 2x minus 3 all over the denominator for x minus 4. Then, 5x minus 2x, it's 3x. Copy minus 3. Copy the denominator. Then, we have a common factor in the numerator, 3. Then, take out 3. What is left is x minus 1. In the denominator, we have also a common factor, 4. Take out 4. What is left is quantity x minus 1. Then, since the numerator and denominator contains 
an expression x minus 1 we have to cancel because that is that means that we have x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1 and 1 so we may not put 1 then the answer is 3 fourths for number 3 we have 2y squared all over y squared plus 3y minus y squared plus 9 all over y squared plus 3y so we have the solution for number three. So it's important that you have to copy each expression given before you have to write your answer. In this case, since they have the same denominator, then we have to put them under one fraction. So this is 2y squared, copy here, minus, let's just put them together as a group the second rational expression, the numerator of the second rational expression. Here we have y squared plus 9. Then, we have to copy 2y squared, then minus, when we are going to put them out, no, the y squared and 9, out of their grouping or the parentheses, we have to Considered because we have here a negative or a minus sign or subtraction operation. So that means we have minus y squared and then minus 9. Meaning in subtracting integers, we have to change the sign of the subtrahend. In this case, our subtrahend is y squared plus 9. Change the sign and proceed to addition. Now here, 2y squared minus y squared is y squared. Then copy minus 9 and copy the common denominator y squared plus 3y. Then we know that this y squared minus 9 is the difference of two perfect squares. And we have a special product for the difference of two perfect squares. Recall, okay. That's a squared minus b squared is equal to the factors a plus b and a minus b. In this case, your a, our a is y and the b is 3. So moving on, this is equal to the factors of y squared minus 9, quantity y plus 3, and quantity y minus 3. In the denominator, we have to factor out common variable y. So y, what is left is y plus 3. Then, we know that there is y plus 3 in the numerator. Same is true with the denominator. So, we cancel them. That means 1. Final answer is y minus 3 all over y. For number 4, we have a squared plus 1 all over a squared minus 16 plus 5a plus 3 all over a squared plus, or I mean minus 16. Solution. Okay, we have to combine them and put them in one fraction. Then we have now a squared plus 1 plus 5a plus 3. Then combining like terms, we have a squared, then 5a, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then factoring out the denominator, we have factors again. The denominator contains the difference of two perfect squares with factors a plus 4 and a minus 4. Then we have to factor the numerator. Factors are a plus 4 times quantity a plus 1. Copy the denominator and then we have a common factor in the numerator and denominator which is a plus 4. That is, we cancel them out. Then what is left is a plus 1 all over a minus 4. So that concludes example or the solution for exercises number 4. For number 5, 10m over 7n minus 2m divided by 7n plus 6m all over 7n. For the solution, we have to combine them in one fraction. Then just simply... Add or subtract 10m minus 2m plus 6m. 
that becomes 14m all over 7n. Factor out 14, it's 2 times 7m, copy m, then copy the denominator. Then we cancel out 7 in the numerator and denominator. So final answer is 2m all over n. We move on to the numeracy scale. In the numeracy scale, we have here, we are asked to complete the sentence for numbers 3 and 4. 1 and 2 are given. So actually, the, pi the pizza is divided into 7 equal slices called sevenths, meaning one piece is one sevenths. Okay? So moving on to number 3. There are four sevenths slices left if three were taken because seven over seven or seven sevenths minus three that were taken so that's four sevenths then we have here three slices out of seven are left so in effect the fraction for this is three slices out of seven left fraction for that it's three sevenths now this concludes our solution discussion on this learning activity for math box for grade 8 quarter 1 week 4 a this is teacher maricho again saying stay happy healthy and safe god bless